These teams are definitely no strangers to each other as they played three times, including Sunday, as Florida picked up a 6-1 win. The Panthers won all three games this season against the Wings and have a 15-5 goal difference throughout the season. The major difference is on the offensive side of the ice as the Red Wings are scoring two goals per game in their last four while the Panthers are averaging five in their previous three games. Detroit is just 6-20 and 20 in their last 26 games against Florida. Going to go with the Panthers to win and cover the puck line here. We're going Florida Panthers minus one and a half. Goaltender Sergei Bobrovsky has been incredibly well and that means that the Red Wings are going to struggle to score, which will be the difference. These teams matched up earlier this week and combined for seven goals with the type of how they are going to attack. I expect less goals here. The defense shows that it could be a little difficult to score the puck as the Red Wings are averaging 4.3 goals allowed in their last three games, while the Panthers are giving up 1.4 goals per game in their last five. The best stat to go with. The under is 9-2-1 in the last 12 games against each other, so we're going to go under 7 goals in this game here. Two plays we're going to go once again. We're going Florida Panthers minus 1.5. Detroit, Florida, under 7. What say you? Let me know in the comment section. Taylor Fade, may the winner be yours. Good luck, gang. Go get them. This is Trending Rabbit.